Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss on exponents. Now let's see what exponents are really. Multiplying a number n times with itself gives us a new term called exponents. That means if I multiply any number a n times, I can write it like a raised to the power n, where a is my base and n is called the power or exponent. Examples If I multiply number 2, say 5 times, 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2, the end result comes out, comes out to be 2 raised to the power 5. If I multiply, say number 3, 10 times, I can easily write it like 3 raised to the power 10. Now let's start with some fundamental properties of exponents. If a is any number and m and n are rational numbers, then the first property is a multiplicative property a raised to the power m into a raised to the power n becomes a raised to the power m plus n. Remember when the bases are same, powers must be added always. For example, 2 raised to the power 3 into 2 raised to the power 4. Now I don't have to actually multiply them, I can easily write it like 2 raised to the power 3 plus 4 since the basis of both the numbers is same that is 2. Next we come to division property. If I have the same number and we are actually dividing it which have unequal powers then I can write it like a raised to the power n divided by a raised to the power n comes out to be a raised to the power m minus n. For example, 2 raised to the power 4 divided by 2 raised to the power 3 is equal to actually 2 raised to the power 4 minus 3. Next property is a power property. If I have a number like a raised to the power m raised to the power n that means the powers have to be multiplied and not added a raised to the power m into n for example if i have a number 2 raised to the power 4 raised to the power 5 i can write it like 2 raised to the power 4 into 5 which comes out to be 2 raised to the power 20. Now let's move forward to the square root property. It's a very important property. If I have a number let's say a raised to the power m and I have nth root of this number then the nth root is divided by the power I have of the number. That means I'll write it like a raised to the power m divided by n. The powers are divided. Whenever you have power in root, nth root or whatever is the case, the power is always in a reciprocal mode. That is, it is always divided. For example, I had fifth root of 3 raised to the power 4. Now fifth root automatically comes at the bottom. It automatically becomes reciprocal and I'll write it like 3 raised to the power 4 upon 5. Let's discuss some other very important properties. If I have minus 1 raised to the power n. Now, I don't have to actually calculate it. 
it becomes minus 1 if n is any odd natural number. Let's say I have to multiply minus 1 raised to the power 9. I don't have to actually multiply it is since 9 is odd number the answer is automatically going to be minus 1. The same way if I have minus 1 raised to the power n that is always going to be 1 if n is an even natural number. 1 raised to, minus 1 raised to the power say 12 all the negative signs are going to be cancelled out the answer will be 1 only. Next we come to same power identity a and b are any numbers and n is a rational number then a raised to the power n into b raised to the power n comes to be a b whole raised to the power n. Now here what we have bases are different but the power is same so I can actually write it like a b raised to the power n. For example, 2 raised to the power 4 into 3 raised to the power 4. Now, bases are different. What I'll do is, I'll multiply the bases and the power will still remain same. I can write it like 2 into 3 raised to the power 4. Next we have, if we have two numbers a and b and they both have the same power n but are actually being divided. What I'll do is, I'll divide the numbers and raise the power of the both. That means, a raised to the power n divided by b raised to the power n comes out to be a upon b whole raised to the power n. Example, 2 raised to the power 4 divided by 3 raised to the power 4 comes out to be 2 upon 3 or 2 divided by 3 raised to the power 4. Next, again some fundamental properties of exponents. a raised to the power 0 whenever a is any number is always and always going to be 1. You don't have to worry what is the value of a. 2 raised to the power 0 is 1, minus 9 raised to the power 0 is 1, root 2 raised to the power 0 is 1, any damn number raised to the power 0 is always going to remain 1. Another property, a raised to the power minus n is always going to be written like 1 upon a raised to the power n. If we take the whole number in the reciprocal form, the powers change their sign automatically. 5 raised to the power minus 3 becomes 1 upon 5 raised to the power 3. We took the number from numerator to denominator. The powers change their sign. Points to remember. Please remember guys, whatever we have discussed in this episode, 5 raised to the power 3 plus 5 raised to the power 4 is never 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 equal to 5 raised to the power 3 plus 4. This is considered to be pop in maths. This is the most fundamental mistake you are going to commit. Please try to avoid it. It is actually 5 raised to the power 3 into 5 raised to the power 4 is equal to 5 raised to the power 3 plus 4. Well, I hope you understood and enjoyed the lecture. See you soon with our next lesson on angles. Thank you.